In this tutorial, we're going to add bind DNS services to our CentOS server. Now, I brought up the diagram just to review it really quickly. We've got a virtual machine. You can see the virtual machine behind me, and I've got CentOS installed in it. And what we've been doing over the last few tutorials is we enabled the CentOS server for routing and network address translation using IP tables. We then set it up as a transparent proxy with Squid. We installed DHCP services, DHCPD, and now what we need to do finally is install DNS server using bind, also called named. So um, we've got the, I just wanted to show the diagram here. I've got a wireless router at 192.168.1.1, that's my gateway. I've got an outside facing interface on my virtual machine, my CentOS virtual machine, ETH0 at 192.168.1.98. And I've got an inside facing NIC at ETH1 at 192.168.111.1. And then if I want to, I can run a second virtual machine client to test out this, basically, this virtual network using um, VMware virtual machines. So it's pretty fun. Uh, I've got the settings for my NICs here. The ETH0 setting is in bridged mode, and the ETH1 setting is in LAN segment mode. So if you want to do this yourself, try to keep that settings. I have all of the previous tutorials at youtube.com forward slash dance courses and at dancecourses.com just look under Linux fundamentals. So I'm going to minimize this now and we'll get started. So I've got my CentOS virtual machine here and let's just make sure that our interfaces are up and that we have an internet connection. So I'm going to ping yahoo.com and you can see that I can get a ping so with internet connectivity I can now install bind so I'm going to do yum install bind and it's going to go out and find the packages here alright I'll hit Y yes to accept Okay, looks like um, bind installed successfully. We can do a service. Let's see here. Service name D status. And you can see here that it is stopped. We could start it up. and you can see it started so now if we do a status you can see that it's running okay so that was pretty easy so we installed um, bind DNS name D and the DNS server and we started up but we st it's still not working until we get it configured so a couple of things that we're gonna do first of all we need to um, edit and change our resolve.conf file for our DNS services or our DNS servers that are configured on this machine. So what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to cat etc resolve.conf and in there you can see that the name server right now is set to our gateway 192.168.1.1 and I did that with a command like this echo name server 192.168.1.1 and then I sent it to the file that I wanted it to go to. Okay, so that's how I set that up. Now the problem with that is, is when you echo the name server directly into the resolve.com file, when you restart the machine, if you restart the CentOS server, it's not going to be there. So then anytime you have a reboot or a reload or reset, you're going to have to reissue this command. So that's no good. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to edit our um, we're going to edit our interface configuration, our network interface configuration. That'll be good. I'm just going to do a CD command here to go back to home. So I'm I'm in home. Also, I want to point out that I have root permissions, right? So you can see here I've got root permission already. If you don't have root permission, just do a su dash command and put in your root admin password and so you can have root permissions. So the file we're going to edit is in well we'll just go take a look at it first. We're going to list etc sysconfig 
network dash scripts. And when we when we list out this directory network scripts, you can see that there's our our eth0 configuration file or eth0 script configuration file and our eth1 configuration file. So what we want to do is since eth0 is outward facing, right? It's eth0 is the outward facing address. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go in there and I'm going to edit that file. So I'll do an up arrow and I'll use nano to edit this time. And I'll do an if config dash eth0 and open up the configuration file. And you can see here network manager is controlled no. We turned off network manager by not allowing it to control this interface. The interface boots up and you can see the settings that we have here and I'm going to need to add one more setting so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say DNS 1 equals 127.0.0.1 alright and that looks good and so I'll hit control X Y to save hit enter and now I've saved that file. Now that I've saved that file what I'm going to need to do is, is take the interface up and down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if down eth0 and then if up eth0 so take it down take it up and then let's cat out that resolve.conf file and you can see that now we've changed our name server to 127.0.0.1 and that's what we needed so now instead of resolving to the gateway right to our gateway DNS server we're resolving to ourselves to our own loopback address so right now if I try to ping yahoo.com if it gets resolved it's going to be resolved by my DNS server as opposed to the gateways DNS server so it's resolving to myself and you can see here that it says who? We don't know. So it's not quite working. So one thing that I'm going to do to see if I can get this working is I'll say service name D restart. So we'll restart our DNS server and then we'll see if we can ping yahoo.com. And it looks like we can't. Also, if we did an NS lookup, name server lookup for google.com, you can see we also don't get a reply. So something's not right. Well, luckily I've had this problem before, so I'm going to check to see our date. And if I put in date, you can see here I put in this date command. It says that it's Sunday, April 1st, and this is the time. And we know for a fact that this is actually the wrong date, right? So if I look down here, I know that it's actually the 30th, and it's 9.58 a.m., so I'm going to need to change this date if I want this thing to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type date dash s space and then I'll put in quotation marks and now I need to put in my date. So what I'll do is I'll type in 2012 dash 4 dash 30 space and I said the name the time is 959 so put in 09 colon 59 colon double zero and then I'll hit enter alright and you can see now that we've updated the date so what I'll do now is I'll redo that service name D restart command it'll stop and start name D daemon and now let's see if we can ping and you can see the ping is now successful I'll do a control C on the keyboard and we'll run our NS lookup. And you can see our NS lookup is successful and it's able to pull name servers from google.com and you can see all the name servers that it pulled. So now we know that our DNS server, our bind DNS server, our named DNS server is not only running, but it can also resolve out to the internet and it can talk to other DNS servers that are out on the internet. So that's good. If you continue to have problems getting this to work, I recommend you issue a tail command on your root 
var log messages file to see what kind of messages you're getting from the DNS server as it tries to resolve different addresses. All right, so that's another thing that you can do. Another thing that I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically allow NameD or bind DNS server to um, start on system startup so that if I restart the server, I have, don't have to start DNS manually, it'll start up automatically. So to do that, I'm going to do a, a chk a check config named which is the name daemon, which is bind, which is our DNS server, and I'll change it to on. So now DNS, the DNS server should start up on system startup. 